Today, I received two clear fatal warnings for all those who commit willful sin after receiving salvation. This process of frequently committing willful sin through time is biblically known as backsliding. God gives very strong warnings to all who practice willful sin. One such warning is stated in Hebrews chapter 10 verses 26 to 27. For if we sin willfully, after we have received the knowledge of the truth, there no longer remains a sacrifice for sins, but a fearful expectation of judgment and fiery indignation which shall devour the adversaries. When we sin by our own free will, we are playing with fire. It is as if we were betting our own soul and spirit in the gambling games of a casino. And what does this mean when a person is practicing sin and fails to repent in time? Then one of the next two scenarios awaits him. The first and most probably scenario is when death comes suddenly. For this situation, the Bible verse of Hebrews chapter 10 verses 26 to 27, previously read, states that the person loses his soul and goes into eternal damnation. The second scenario is when the person is practicing sin and the rapture happens in such a case, the person is left behind and will have to go through the hellish torments of the great tribulation. As we can see, to deliberately practice willful sin is to put our eternal life on the edge of the abyss into which we can fall at any moment. One of the most serious mistakes we believers make is that we take things for granted. For example, every day we believe that we will wake up the next morning or that we have many years ahead of us or that we will always return home safe and sound, etc. When we think in such a wrong way, we are adding more fuel to the fire because in reality, we do not have much time. Maybe we will not wake up the next day. Or perhaps a fatal accident could happen one day and we will not return home. When we think in this way, it helps us not to take things for granted and most importantly, to be on guard, vigilant at all times, taking each day for what it really is, an extension of time of God's mercy, so that we can repent and rectify our behavior daily because sometimes we do not even realize that we have sinned. For example, our Lord Jesus tells us clearly that we also sin by thought and that this has its consequences as well. Such warning is stated in Matthew chapter 5 verse 28. But I say unto you that whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after her had committed adultery with her already in his heart, and we do know very well what is the final destiny for adulterers, which is eternal damnation, stated clearly in the Bible. Therefore God warns us in his holy word that we should sin neither by actions, nor by thoughts that defile the mind, nor by feelings that defile the heart, and even in our dreams, through our own sinful will, when we do unholy actions inside them. Obedience and holiness are not to be followed one day, and the next no. We cannot be obedient one day, and disobedient the next one. We cannot conduct ourselves in holiness one day, and the next one behaving unholy. This kind of unholy behavior is not accepted by God at all because it leads to eternal damnation. A strong warning is clearly stated in 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 21. You cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of demons. You cannot partake of the Lord's table and the table of demons. Dear brothers and sisters, let us not listen nor follow false pastors, false ministers, false preachers, false churches and false religions that have departed from the truth, preaching doctrines of demons, becoming apostates such as preaching false doctrines like 
once saved always saved, saying that salvation is never lost, and therefore you can deliberately sin as many times as you want. False doctrines such as these are highly satanic, leading all those who believe and practice them to eternal damnation. God does not want his children to practice sin. On the contrary, he demands absolute holiness, as stated in 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 16. For it is written, Be ye holy, for I am holy. And in Hebrews chapter 12 verse 14, Follow peace with all men and holiness, without which no man shall see the Lord.